Trapping season is upon us here in western New York. It is October 25th and uh, today was the opening day of trapping season. I went out and set a bunch of dirt hole sets for fox and coyote and I set a few uh, fisher sets as well. Uh, this is going to be the first video to uh, a bunch of trapping videos. I'm going to be doing kind of like a daily vlog checking my trap line and I don't have all the traps set I'm going to set but uh, each day I'm going to set a few more and a few more, but bring you some interesting looks. I'm going to set some uh, trail cameras up over some of my different uh, traps just to see how the critters are reacting to the traps and maybe even get a few catches on, on uh, trail camera video, which would be really cool. Uh, I had a question come about this year. I, was, I got to thinking about it, the uses with my drone. I know... I know uh, you can't use a drone in any way to aid you in hunting, but for the life of me, I could not find any regulations on using my drone to check my traps. So I did a bunch of research and stuff. Well, anyways, I just ended up calling uh, the head of the game commission for 9J in my area where I'm at in western New York, and I got a hold of him and asked him a few questions as to whether or not I'd be able to check my traps with my drone with my drone, you know, my dirt hole sets, it's uh, going to be so beneficial that way. I won't have to actually go up to that trap and get sent all over it or whatnot. I'll be able to save a whole bunch of gas in my UTV with my gator. I'm not going to have to drive around and stuff, and uh, I'll only have to go to the sets that need reset and stuff like that. So here's a conversation I had with the uh, game warden. I'll just stick it right on here right now. State conservation police officer. Hi, I'm uh, Clifford Bailey, and I was calling about a question with that has to do with trapping. Okay. I was wondering, I have a drone, and uh, I know you're not allowed to use a drone to assist you in hunting in any way. And with trapping season coming around, I set dirt hole sets for fox and coyote, and I just wasn't, I couldn't find anywhere where it said I could or couldn't use a drone to actually check the trap it would be beneficial that way because I wouldn't get any of my scent or anything near the trap if I have it set in a field, you know, and I was questioning whether that's allowed or if that's not allowed or... Okay, say it again. Ask me that question again. Okay, no problem. I was asking if I can check my traps, my dirt hole sets that I have set along like field edges or next to fence posts with a drone so that way I wouldn't get my scent anywhere near that trap. I didn't know if that was legal or illegal. I'm in Chautauqua County, by the way, in Climber. With a drone, huh? You want to check? You want to check your traps with a drone, huh? That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, I figured that you get it. That is interesting. Um, I don't know the answer to this. Hey, Chuck, what? hang on a second. I actually have a drone lieutenant right here. So oh, okay. He's setting traps legally. Where he has permission to be. You do have permission to be where you're at, right? Yeah, it's on my property. <laughs> not his property. So, well, yeah. He just wants to check. No, it makes a difference. He's on his own property, so he wants to check his traps with a drone versus walking up and possibly putting scent on. Disturbing him with his scent. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that. Now that I know he's on his property. It's just, it's just like him flying a drone on his own property taking pictures. Yeah, you're, there's nothing illegal about that. I guess I missed that part. I thought maybe you were on someone else's property, and that, that would have been... Okay. No, this is all This is all on our property. Yeah, I so, just... you're, so you're trying to check your traps to make sure there's no, nothing in them, and disturb them, et cetera, et cetera, right? Exactly. I'm trying to do it without yeah. getting my scent around the around the trap. Yeah, I think you'd be all right. I think that's fine. Um, then my only question was, if you were on someone else's property or like a commercial property with the drone, that's why I was, that's what I was wondering, but. Okay. Yeah, you should be good to go. Okay, perfect. Well. That's the first, though. <laughs> what's your, can I, can I get your name so in case I have, you know, if I have any problems that I can just, if a DDC officer gives me trouble, I can be like, well, I just talked to Lieutenant so-and-so. Yeah, well, I'm not with that. It's uh, Robert, my first name is Okay, perfect. All right? Yep. All right, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 
Okay, so to all my uh, YouTube followers that are, you were going to say, you know, you don't know if it's legal or, or not legal to check these traps with a drone the way I'm doing it right now. Bam, I just talked to the to the game commission and it is indeed legal on your own property. So I hope I just answered a lot of the questions before they were asked. It is October 25th and it is opening day of trapping season here in New York. I'm uh, out setting dirt hole sets for fox and coyote today. I have set eight sets so far and I'm gonna show you setting this one and uh, Obviously, I'll bring you along on the trap line tomorrow. So, I'm going to get this one set and show you how I do it. Okay, so I figured I'd start out by telling you why I'm setting the trap here. If you look, this is a cornfield, kind of a square cornfield. And there's this uh, inlet of pine trees and kind of swampy area right here where it jets out right into this cornfield. So, these coyotes and fox that run the edges, they're going to come around this corner instead of go down through this stuff. So, and when it snows, I always notice a lot of coyote and fox tracks coming right through this spot right here. So, kind of setting on sign from previous years. And then the next set I'm going to set is right over there on the point of the cornfield and the grass field. We have a road that comes out right there that they like to run as well. So, I'm just going to show you this set though because once I show you one, I've pretty much shown you all of them. So what I did, there's a big stone set in here, and I'm gonna set the dirt hole right below that. So I dug a hole right here, kind of open that up so it's a little visible. Take it out a little bit more. Right there. Kind of remove all this stuff. Now I'm going to dig out my spot I'm going to put my trap, which is going to be like right here. I'm just going to kind of make an outline of it, dig it, dig it down a couple inches. Okay, now I'm going to grab my trap stake and uh, just going to take a quick look at my trap. I freshly uh, dyed them and waxed them this year. That's what all that white stuff is on there is wax. I'm going to make sure I still have my ID tag on there and make sure it's on there good so it won't come off. It's on there good. A lot of times I like kind of wrapping it around because the critters when they get in these traps they tear at stuff and try to take them off. And I'm going to drive this in exactly underneath where my trap's going to go. You'll have to kind of move this around, pull that right out of the ground, and then what you want to do is set that, set that in there a little bit so you pull on it really hard, and that metal piece flips sideways in that hole and digs in so it can't come out. So the trap is set down in there pretty good like I want it. And I'm just going to shove this kind of down into the hole a little bit. that. Now I'm going to prepare my trap bed. I like keeping a little loose dirt in the bottom of the trap bed so that way when I get it in there I can really wiggle it down in. your trap set like that and then I usually like it about three pounds of pressure for fox and coyotes I'm not targeting raccoons or possums or skunks which inevitably I'm going to catch a whole bunch of but I don't want to catch those things so I like my my traps to be about three pounds so I'm going to take this down a little bit but I'm not going to take it down to hair trigger because I don't want to catch those 
I'm not looking to catch raccoons and possums and stuff. So right there is about right. And now I'm going to take that trap and really make sure I get that how I want it in there. Looking for a good steady spot here that really feels solid. Right there feels good. Now what I'm going to do is take and really pack this dirt around the edges here. I want the ground to be really pretty solid all around this, except where that pan is. See that trap is super solid in there right now, just how you want it. Now, different guys use different stuff. I've always used this wax paper as uh, my pan cover. And I just take a little square of it and uh, crinkle it up so it doesn't make any noise. And then I'll make a little slit in it right where the trigger hits the pan. And then I have this feed bag right here full of peat moss. You can get it at Walmart or any tractor supply or anything. I'm gonna take and stick this right over and get some on each corner. Just like that. Sprinkle it over a little bit more. And I'll take a usually take a stick or something just because I've got my fingers pinched enough times in the past years that I don't like getting them pinched so I'm going to take and spread that peat moss out evenly and I actually want the pan a little bit lower I don't want any chunks in there like that the pan a little bit lower I take this natural dirt here right up and uh, I oftentimes I'll find a few sticks around here so here's a, a stick right here they don't need to be this big actually you want them smaller grab some of these over here so you got these uh, sticks here Coyotes and fox, when they come up to a set like this, they don't want to step on a stick and make noise. So I know my pan is right here. So I'm going to take this stick, put one right there, I'm going to put another one right there, and then I'm going to stick another one right in here. So what that's doing is they'll walk up here, and they're instead of stepping right here before my pan, they're going to step over that stick and get right on that pan, which is what we want here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is kind of uh, throw some leaves to make this look as natural as natural as possible here. here. Get a little more dirt out of there. And then I've got a chunk of uh, Goose breast, I'm going to grab up here. We're going to chop that right in half. Just 
right there. And this goose breast I've left out for about a week now, so it's stinking pretty good, just like I want it. I'm going to shove that right down in there, kind of tight, so it doesn't easily they have to work at it to get it out there. I'm going to take this Minnesota Coyote trap line lure. I'm going to rub a little bit of it on the top of this rock and stick the rest of it down in that hole. Now. I know a lot of people just set dirt holes that uh, they try to hide and they don't put under any type of brush or rock or anything, but one of the good things about finding an object, whether it be a log or a rock or even a fence post in a field is you have two different chances to catch that little critter. If it's a fox or a coyote, you know when a dog goes up to piss and mark their territory on something like that, they get up beside it and then they lift their leg up. Well. If you look right here, if he doesn't actually hit that bait and that dog's just going to mark his territory, he's going to sniff it, then walk up beside it and lift his leg to piss while his back leg's going to hit that trap. So that's how you, a lot of times, if I ever catch back leg catches, because they're marking that, which is good. So this set is pretty much done. I'll show you how I get everything out of here. I just throw everything in here. And then... I try to make this where my knees were. I kind of rough it up a little bit just so it doesn't look out of the ordinary of what's going on over here. Just like that. And that's my that's my dirt hole set right there, which uh, I'll bring you guys on the trap line this whole this whole season and we'll see what we can catch. Thanks for watching everybody. Well, I hope uh, everybody's looking forward to checking my trap lines with me. I'm gonna be deploying the drone to uh, check some of my dirt holes for the next couple days. I'm actually gonna mostly take my UTV because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna set more traps along the way. And uh, I'm gonna bring you guys with me and uh, see what we catch. Hopefully we can get some coyotes and some red foxes and maybe even get lucky with a fisher in the uh, short period of time I have to try to catch a fisher. Uh, once again, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll answer any of your questions you guys might have for me coming here soon. Uh, see you tomorrow morning on the trap line.